What's up guys, Ace on here and welcome to another episode of Wrestling Thoughts. Um, on this edition of Wrestling Thoughts, I will be giving my Money in the Bank predictions. Um, well, I'm going to first off talk about the Divas title match, Nikki Bella versus Paige. First off, I haven't really been in depth with this Nikki Bella and Paige rivalry, but I think Nikki's going to take it home. Um, she's probably going to retain her title most likely. She's been dominating the Divas division lately as the Divas champion, and I think she's just going to be Paige. I, I really don't have any explanation on why. I don't see Paige winning this Sunday. I, I just don't see it. I think Nikki's going to take it home. And um, I noticed something about this rivalry. Both Divas are, like, faced. I think there's no heel in this whole rivalry. I don't know if they're trying to have Paige as the heel. I know Nikki is the face, but I don't know if they're trying to put Paige as the heel. But I think Paige is face, obviously. But um, like I said, I think Nikki's going to take it home. I just don't see Paige winning. And the second match I'm going to talk about is the IC title match, Intercontinental Championship, a.k.a. Um, Ryback versus Big Show. Well, this whole thing, this whole thing started off after uh, the last pay-per-view event, which was Elimination Chamber, when, well, the, the day afterwards um, on Raw, when Big Show came out, he basically wanted to challenge Ryback for that belt, and, you know, Ryback accepted, of course, and um, I think Ryback's going to win. You know, Big Show hasn't really been taking home any titles in a long time, and I believe they're going to have Ryback hold this IC championship for a good while now since this is his first title. WWE they may they may want to experience they may want to see how well Ryback do as champion since he just started his whole little championship run. They may want him to carry that title for a while just to see how long and how well he'll do as a champion. And then they'll decide later on and you know sometime during the year for him to drop the title eventually. Uh let's see. So yeah I think Ryback's gonna take it home. And the next match we're going to talk about is the WWE Tag Team Championship title match. New Day versus the Primetime Players. Um, ooh, I'm not sure if Primetime Players won the tag team titles yet. I think they never won it. No, they, nope, nope. They never won it yet. After watching their match, their performance at Elimination Chamber, I really want them to win this match. Um, they did a really good job at Elimination Chamber. I never made a video about, you know, I never made a predictions or review video about uh elimination chamber but i'm gonna say one thing after watching that whole pay-per-view man the primetime players man they got a whole different they they taking it to the next level they have like a brand new aura about their team i think the primetime players may actually beat new day um they, they need to make sure xavier woods don't interfere but most likely if new day does win it's going to be because of xavier woods obviously um I want to see primetime players win, but I think New Day might take it home because of Xavier Woods. Unless they do some stipulation before the match and be like, oh, Xavier Woods is banned or something like that. But I think I think New Day is going to take it home. I want primetime players to win, but I think New Day is going to take it home. Um, Let's see. The, the Money in the Bank ladder match. Ziggler versus Neville versus Reigns versus Orton versus Kofi Kingston versus Sheamus versus Kane. Um... I had a really hard time deciding who I think going to win this match. I kept saying Reigns because, you know, Vince wants Reigns to be this, you know, this big baby face and all. And, you know, when he wants a guy to be baby face, baby face, then he, they get pushed, obviously. I don't think Orton's going to take it home. He's had the money in the bank before. And uh, I think he's still feuding. I don't know who, wait, who is he feuding with right now? I don't know. Um, he hasn't really been doing much lately. Like, all of these guys, they've been having matches, but I, I don't know what Orton's been doing that much lately. And Kingston, I don't think Kingston's going to take it home. They're not going to let him have a Money in the Bank briefcase and a tag team title at the same time. If Kofi does win this match, it's going to be a huge shocker. But I highly doubt it. Simply be uh, Okay, y'all want to know something? The main reason why Kofi is in this match, just so he can do an impressive stunt with the ladders, that's basically it. He do that every time he's in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Even when they was doing Money in the Bank at WrestleMania, he was still just doing little stunts with the ladder and all that BS. But anyway, um, it is impressive, but it's the same BS. I mean, I wish the guy would just win for once, but that's WWE for you. Um... Let's see, Neville, I don't think Neville's going to win it yet. I don't think he's ready for that push yet. It would be awesome to see him win it, but I don't think Neville's ready to hold the money in the brink beefcase yet. I think he needs to win a mid-card title first. 
I don't see him having that briefcase yet. I think he needs to uh, do more. He been on the main roster for like a, a, how many months? For like a month or two, not long, but I think he should. Uh, I think he should win a mid card title first, then become Money in the Bank at some at some point in his career. Maybe next year. I don't see it this year. And Ziggler, this is one of those matches where you know Ziggler might actually get close to winning, but you know something might happen. Somebody might knock him down and be like, "Oh no." My guy, Ziggler got close, and oh, he got thrown off the ladder or some stuff like that. Some might, some like that may happen. There's a chance Ziggler may win, but I think something like that may happen. Ziggler may get close to the briefcase, but then someone might knock him down. And Kane, now I know Kane is not going to win first off. Um, if Kane does win, that's going to be a surprise, like a very, a big surprise actually. Um, if Kane does win, he's most likely going to get help from J and J Security or somebody from the Authority. Definitely, um, I can't picture Kane winning at all. I just can't. I don't have no explanation whatsoever. I just don't see Kane winning this match. Now, Sheamus, I think Sheamus might actually win, and he's the one I'm going for. Actually, I think Sheamus may have the potential to, you know, he may actually win and become Mr. Money in the Bank. Like I mentioned in my previous Wrestling Thoughts video, like I said, Sheamus is like the new ultimate heel now. Um, if they want Sheamus to be this ultimate heel, they need to push Saint. They need, yeah, they need to push Sheamus and you know push him to a brand new level as a, a heel. Um, this is the most heel we've seen Sheamus throughout his whole career, and I mean, why not let Sheamus win Money in the Bank? Why not? That'll make him look even more dominant. That's just from my perspective. And let's see. So the person I'm going for in that match is Sheamus. All right, let's see the next match. Uh, oh, ho, ho. Kevin Owens versus John Cena. Oh man, two. That's what they call it. Kevin Owens versus John Cena two. All right. First off, I think Kevin Owens is gonna re he's gonna win this match simply because uh, you know Kevin Owens he just signed a contract to be on the main roster. And Kevin Owens been dominating lately. That man just been a beast lately. And they don't have superstars do this much, but this man been well. They they had a couple like Rusev, Bray Wyatt come on the roster just being on straight up beast mode. But Kevin Owens, that man on a whole new level. That man is on uh, beast mode times ten. God damn it. Um, yeah, the reason why I say times ten, this dude beat John Cena on his first main roster match. John Cena. 15-time World Heavyweight Champion. You've never seen no wrestler do that. Name one wrestler that'll do it. Zero. Um, name one, wait, no, no, no. Let me rephrase that. Name one wrestler that has did that. Nobody. Um, I think Kevin Owens is going to win this. Um, And I think eventually, I think this rivalry between Cena and, and uh, Kevin Owens is not going to end until probably SummerSlam. Like, when Kevin Owens faced Samoa Joe, whenever he faces him, I think he's going to drop the title to Joe. And that's going to be his last NXT match. And eventually, you know, he's going to be just doing matches on the main card. And at some point, he's going to face John Cena at SummerSlam for the U.S. Championship. That's that's my opinion. Or possibly the next pay-per-view in July. But I think SummerSlam is the perfect pay-per-view Kevin Owens could face, should face John Cena at for that title. Um, that would be perfect. And I don't know what what's going to happen with John Cena in the future as far as him. If he loses the title, I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. If they do, if my prediction do come true as far as, you know, Kevin Owens becoming U.S. champion at SummerSlam and all. But, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with John afterwards. I just think Kevin Owens is going to drop the title to Joe and eventually, you know, do just all his matches on the main roster and eventually become U.S. champion after doing all those battles with Cena. But I think Kevin Owens is going to beat Cena this time. Um, and I, I believe the match is going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be, it may be better than the one they had at Chamber. Like, the one they had at Chamber was awesome. That was match of the night. I mean, this there's a chance this match might again be match of, uh, match of the night. Just like last pay-per-view. And last but not least, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. Um, this is this is one of those moments where Seth Rollins actually want to you know fight alone. He doesn't want anyone's help. You know he was all he was complaining, saying that uh, I don't need the authority, I don't need nobody's help, all of that crap. Well, okay, this is the match to, to prove it now. Um, 
I believe Seth Rollins may leave the authority pretty soon. He may turn face or something. And, uh, you know, Seth Rollins, in my opinion, he, he does perform much better by himself. And especially, you know, if this is a ladder match. So, you know, he's a high flyer. So we're going to see some shit in this match. And he was in Money in the Bank last year, actually. And he won last year. So we know what Seth Rollins could do in the ladder match. We know what Dean Ambrose could do in the ladder match. Because, you know, he was in that TLC match with, uh, who was it, Luke Harper, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, last year. Um, I think Seth Rollins is going to retain. I don't think they're ready to get. I want. I don't mind seeing Dean Ambrose as champion, but I don't think WWE is ready to give him the title yet. Um, the match is going to be awesome, but I think there's going to be a point where uh, I mean Dean might win. I don't know. This this is one of those matches where I, I had a really hard time, you know, deciding. But here's what I think. Okay, Seth Rollins is going to win. It's going to be a very hard fought battle. Like, Dean is going to get very close to, you know, becoming champion. But I think Seth is going to take it home. Um, and I think, here's what I think. Seth is going to be having a hard time in that match. And Jane just secured is, is going to come out. And Seth is going to get very upset. And, uh, you know, he's going to start saying, get out the ring, uh, blah, blah, blah. Leave me alone or whatever. Well, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. I'm tripping. On Raw, I forgot. They had a match. Well, he had a match against JJ Security. So, yeah, yeah, he, he might actually be by himself. He might not be getting any help. Dang, I don't know. Dean Ambrose actually has a chance of winning. I don't know what to say about Seth Rollins now. I think Seth is going to win, but Dean might actually got a chance on taking that belt home. Um, I just think Seth is going to win. That's all I got to say. I just think Seth is going to win. I really don't have any explanation whatsoever. That's just what I think. That's my prediction. But um, leave your comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Um, and that's about it. Peace.